Hey guys, and welcome back to some redstone. So, today I'm gonna explain how the randomizer works, the one that I showed on my previous video, and I've actually redone it completely for no reason whatsoever. Actually, yeah, reason I lost the other one, so it took me about an hour to make this one. So, hopefully, you guys will find this interesting for those of you who actually care about redstone and how redstone works and want to learn about it. It's actually, I'm gonna try to explain how this works and how I, um, it's actually pretty clever how uh, this part works over here. But, well, uh, there we go. Uh, I actually hate people that record like this. It's kind of annoying, but uh, I don't know why I had it like that. But anyways, so first of all, if you don't actually care about the redstone and you just want to download a randomizer, you can go ahead and download it. Link in the description. I'm going to show you how it works. So so the value that it's on right now, it's this one, right? It would be one, two, three, four. You would actually put numbers here, right? With, this is number four. And whenever you just want a uh, okay, first thing before you press the button, you have to make sure this this torch is on. When this torch is on, that means you can press the button, and you get a new value within seconds. So I think it's the same one as before. That happens sometimes. It's possible to you know get two of the same. I mean, it's only six values you have you're working with with with. So yeah. So now you actually have to wait until it this torch goes on again, and then you can go ahead and press it again once again. And this time it was actually this one. So. So there you go, that's how it works. And now for those of you who actually care, I'm actually gonna go ahead and explain how everything works. So first part is of course the cobwebs and the dispensers. So when you press the button, the dispensers actually go off and the items fall into the uh, cobwebs. And you know how like when you uh, activate a dispenser, the item sometimes goes right, sometimes it goes left, sometimes it goes a bit higher, sometimes it goes a bit lower. So we can actually harvest that uh, that randomness in, with using cobwebs because now one of these six is gonna fall before the others. So I'm gonna go and go ahead and demo this. Um, press the button, and here we go. So as you can see, like this one is a bit higher than this one is a bit more to this side. So this one is probably gonna fall first, or I don't know which one's gonna fall first. Oh yeah, this one fell first, and. Now what this thing does over here, it actually only catches the first value. So once the first the first value is input, as you can see, it was this one over here. It actually locks it, so nothing else can get through with this RS nor over here. So it actually locks it, so nothing else can get through, which is you know something kind of needed. So there you go. After that that happens, it's a, it actually gets uh, saved into these RS nor latches over here. And then what we have here, it's probably the hardest part to explain. It's some kind of queuing system. As you can see, we have other RS nor latches up here. This three squares that's an R snore three squares R snore so this is where uh, our current value is in and this is the last one which is the one that is being displayed at the moment and it's not for some reason I think I might have reset it by accident somehow so whenever you press the button it has some sort of queuing system so what it does it actually gives you the last one that was saved back here it moves it on forward and it calls for a new one and the thing happens all over and that's why you can't call like um, I mean if you didn't make it like this with this queuing system what you would need to do is press the button and then you would have to wait five seconds to get one but this way it's much better much faster and I like it a lot more because you press it and you get it instantly and then it takes five seconds before you can do another one so I think it's much more it's just much better it makes this a lot better and yeah that's how it works so once again uh, one of these fell fall first before the others and whichever one falls first goes uh, is detected by this one I like to call it a synthesizer and uh, and it goes through here gets saved into this memory queuing system whenever it, we want to get it released it actually activates or turns off this power line over here and then the torches are free to go on whichever one is off which in case it would be this one over here once again yeah okay so then it would go through and over here and then we would call for another one and just have it saved over here so we can call it on whenever we want and I say call it but uh, you'll get used to it um, so yeah I think that's it so thank you guys for watching and I hope this was actually understandable and this is actually this was actually my third attempt at making this tutorial thing I'm terrible at it and yeah thank you guys for watching hope you like the video and uh, see you guys later.